everybody, I'm Todd. And I'm Amy. And welcome back to Creative Side DIY, where we flip furniture and do other side hustles to make money to pay our daycare bill. But today we are doing something fun and different. We're showing you how we redid our 18 month old bedroom. And you may have noticed it's been a long time since we have posted a video. That's because we have started school back. We're both school teachers and we have been really busy at school and getting the school year started for all of our students. Um, but today we finally got to uh, finish up our video on Berkeley's uh, nursery. So we hope you enjoy and be sure to keep an eye out because this is gonna be a three part video series. We're gonna show you how we did her room. There's one specific thing we put up that we want to show you in detail how to do. So that's in another video. And then a final tour of all of the cool stuff she's got in her room. Yep, so make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you get to see all of our videos when they're posted, but especially all three of these videos as they will be tied together. Uh, you won't want to miss any second of it. So uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy. Hit the like button, comment, tell us how we did, and um, we'll get back to you on the comments. Okay, so uh, this is at the top of our stairs. So here's the little entryway to this room. There. You swing around to the right. There's a closet there. Okay. And the theme uh, for this room is pink and gold. So here I'm just taking off the little brackets that hold up the blinds and it's just pop right off after you screw them off and Amy's taking off all of the plates around the light switches and outlets. And the next step is to remove all of the bedding and the bed from the room so that the room is completely cleared out. So I always turn over my mattress first and then just slide it out and then get the box spring next and do the same thing. Slide on the floor so I don't have to lift it by myself. And this is simple, just the um, bed rails just pop right up. And then the bed is completely pulled apart. Time for lunch, y'all. <laughs> Paint colors coming soon. We want to use our sprayer to paint this room, so we're making sure to get everything taped up and covered really well. We're using some paint drop cloths to tape up over the doors. We'll go all the way around the baseboard, over the light switches, and on the ceiling. We got the tape that already has plastic attached, which was made this a lot easier because once it's taped on, you can just pull the plastic out and it protects the floor. Just uh, tape up one side, unroll the plastic, tape the other. We bought the tape that has the plastic attached and as you can see, it just rolls out once it's taped onto the wall and that made everything a lot easier. Yeah, we use this on our base molding as well, and that did work great, we thought, at first, but then um, the sprayer was having overspray pretty bad, so we had to put the tarp on the floor. You'll see that later. Alright yeah. <laughs> guys, so I'm going to start spraying here soon. So I've got my Wagner Flexio 3000. This is the canister we normally use for our furniture. This is the small one. Um, we're not going to use that today. We're going to be using the big boy here. All right? And I've never used it before, so it's pretty exciting. Um, for this, we're going to want a wider spray. So on the top, we're going to be setting set on the wide spray instead of the narrow spray. And then I think for our paint, we're using bare uh, paint and primer. Um, we're gonna have it set on a seven. 
and that should be good. Uh, normally we have this set on a max for our furniture as we the spray, but I think we're going to go down to a 7 today, which is not super low. Yeah, we're going to set on a 7. So as I mentioned earlier, we had a lot of overspray happening. You can see the dust on the floor as well. So I went downstairs, got the tarp, and I'm just going to spread it out over the entire floor. Then we won't have to worry about paint getting on the floor at all. And uh, this turned out to be really successful. So when we pulled this up, there wasn't much paint underneath the tarp. And here I'm just going around the room, continuing to make my way around. I've gotten the back three walls and I'm back around to the door and um, this went pretty quickly after we got everything taped up. So we ended up having some issues with our sprayer on the second day when we started to go back and spray again. So uh, here you see me rolling after spraying the first coat um, and this actually went just as fast. And I know most of you might not have a sprayer so I recommend just going on with the roller uh, to begin with. Um, it's, it makes the process just as fast and you don't have to do all the taping then. The next step is to put up the trim. So first we're priming the pieces before they're cut, before they're on the wall with the spray bin primer. And we're doing this in the garage in our spray studio where we paint all our furniture. So be sure to check out our other videos about furniture flipping to pay our daycare bill. So we want the squares to essentially line up like this so there's no like anything like this happening because eventually it's just going to be one line. But what was happening is we were lined up like this. So what I'm going to do is cut off half of the end of this piece so that when we bring it back, it's going to be like this. And then we can make our cut, our line to cut. There it is. That's for the corner. Now I need to go remeasure to mark my spot. Moment of truth. Does it fit and do they line up? Oh, pretty close. Perfect, almost. Something like that. So I'm marking my mark right, short of the wall here, and the, the trim of the cloth. There's my straight edge, along with my corner edge. <laughs> hey, cutie. <laughs> Are you the gatekeepers? Are you the gatekeepers, Miss Utterly Adorable? Let's see how this turned out. Hopefully it should fit snugly on the wall, and it does. Look, I don't even have to hold it, okay? It's perfect. And then this one should slide right in and make a nice edge there, and it does. Now, you can see a little bit of gap in the front. We're not worried about that because we're gonna put caulk in it anyways. 
Uh, but that's just what happens when you have a piece that has a special design on it. So we've got an arrow finish nailer here. That's what we're using. It's electric, just plugs in. I also have a, a nail gun that works off an air compressor, but we're only upstairs and running the line. It's really loud. We're we'll in here right now. We don't really want to scare. So this is what we're using. It, it will do the job. It's for finish uh, trim anyways. Here you can see Amy lining up the corner piece and putting the level on top to make sure it's level. We're just checking and double checking before we put in this first nail. Uh, you have to press down pretty hard to get the nail gun to shoot a nail out as a safety um, setting. And now before we put in the second nail, we are just checking to make sure it's level again. Because we could move up the other side a little bit if we needed to to make sure it's level. But we 100% want it level. <laughs> And now I'm going to go ahead and tack in the other side as well. You can't really see it because I'm in the way. And here I'm just checking the height uh, so that it's the same height all the way around the room. And here Amy's marking a little line so that we get this piece of molding at the same height as the other pieces of molding. Now we're putting tape up so that we can add our rose watercolor to the trim and everything below the trim without messing up the beautiful white that Todd has already put up. And here goes the rose water pink, rolling it on. Now would be a perfect time to destroy the like button while you're watching this paint get rolled on. But this color is really awesome. Uh, I highly recommend it for your uh, baby room if you are looking for a pink color. It's great. And before you go shop for this color, make sure you hit the subscribe button to our channel so you see more of our awesome videos. And bam, there is more pink paint. See, I move fast. To paint the trim itself, we're using an angle brush to make sure that we get in all those little nooks and crannies created by the squares. And then we are ready to peel off the tape and do a little bit of touch-ups where the paint didn't totally stay inside the tape. To do tiny touch-ups like this, I live on the edge. I don't retape it. I feel like if you're really careful with a brush, that's honestly the easiest way to get a clean line for something like this. And it's finally time to clean up so that we can start moving her things in. We're changing out the light fixture. Amy will tell you a little bit more about the brand and all that later. But here I'm just taking off the plate that hides all of the wires. And then you simply just unplug it and take it off the little rocker arm. And I'm going to hand it down to Amy. And that's pretty much it. And up goes the new light. It had its own mounting bracket. So I took off the little rocker arm for the fan. And I'm hanging this or wiring this up. Yeah. Oh, we still look on our main floor. One of the final touches is putting the blinds back in. I screwed back in the brackets and now I'm just sliding the blinds into the slot there.
We're rolling and rolling and rolling the furniture back into place. So I am sliding most of this furniture in. Our floors are not in the greatest shape, uh, but actually none of this furniture is scratching the floor, which is great. Uh, but you have to do what you have to do when you have a pregnant wife, and because she obviously doesn't need to be lifting anything. Uh, so I'm making it work, getting everything back into place. Uh, as you can see there, Berkeley and Amy are managing me quite well. So for Berkeley's room, we obviously already did her nursery before she was born, um, but we've since moved and now we're moving her into a new room in the new house. Um, so we're adding some new pieces to try and uh, hone in our style a little bit because her first nursery, we didn't even know the gender when we started designing it. Um, so one of the things that we that I picked out to add into this nursery is a little, um, framed photo of the three of us. It's um, just a, a white enamel with gold trim from Home Goods. That's really cute. Um, so we're gonna throw that up on the wall and next to this Hello Gorgeous sign that we've had. Um, in addition to this B that we picked out once we picked her name. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's good. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. And while we're hanging these, we could have measured the back of this and put a level up there and drew a line and all that. I just don't feel like it. So I'm just going to do it the quick way and hope we got it level. Okay. <laughs> And now we're adding a little shelf above her dresser to put her cute things on. I actually used my tape measure to put this up so uh, I would get it on the first try. This thing's kind of hard to hang. So this is a little bow hanger. Stay tuned for the final tour of Berkeley's Nursery. Mm -hmm. 